Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this first ever, first ever Goose Creek candle review slash haul slash overview. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. So you guys, today I'm going to dive into some Goose Creek candles. First time ever trying them, burning them, melting them. And I'm going to give you my thoughts and feedback in case you guys want to wind up doing a Goose Creek order. Um, I don't know if it'll still be available by the time this video is up, but they have like select like $7 candles, $8 candles, something like that. And, um, you know, so just kind of a cautionary tale on what ones at least I felt were good, which ones I thought were bad, and uh, maybe you guys can save some money. So <laughs> that sounded really bad. There were some wins and there were also some definite misses on here. So let's just dive into it. I wanna try to keep this video a little bit shorter than my normal videos. I know I can go off on a tangent sometimes. So let's just dive into it. I'm gonna start with the the misses, the flops. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to start with the ones that I haven't burned yet slash melted and I'll do a first impressions and then I'm going to kind of tie that together here. So you guys, I ordered and if you see me looking down, I have my iPad off to the side with all the fragrance notes. So I actually ordered uh, four different types of wax. They come in kind of clamshell-esque wax and they are a paraffin blend so I'm assuming it's like a paraffin soy so they're not as soft as say like a scentsy wax but they're definitely not as hard as like a Yankee Candle tart wax. Ordered four different fragrances and then I have two candles I'm going to show you as well. So the first two that I got and I'll read you the notes and kind of tell you my thoughts on them. One of them is Old Time Lemonade. So let's actually start with let me pull up the notes on here. Old Time Lemonade. This one's really pretty. We kind of look at how pretty that picture is. So those of you who are who are fans of Bath and Body Works, sugared lemon zest, lemoncello, any of those bright effervescenty lemon scents, I, I really think you're gonna like this one. The notes for old time lemonade include sugary lemon juice, light pineapple, and vanilla sugar. This is the epitome of a sweetsy lemon type scent. And while I have not melted down this one, I have used the other fragrances I got in the wax. And um, I can say you get a good six hours, like a strong, you know, six hours out of each cube. They do say on the back 50 to 80 hours. Fragrance lasts approximately 58 hours. 50 to 80 hours, that's probably for this entire thing because I got a solid six to eight hours out of each chunk. I did notice that when they were fully melted, they were throwing, 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 at least the scents that I have used. Um, but I'm finding that each evening when I get home and I'm switching out my wax and stuff and I like fire up my warmers, the second day it's much, much lighter and I'm having to put in a new chunk. So just keep in mind, I don't know if it's going to be the same with the citrus scents, but there you go. Old Time Lemonade, would I purchase this again? At least scent-wise, I really want to try the candle in the summertime, I would like to get the candle of Old Time Lemonade. I wish I would have gotten the candle of that one versus the one that I chose, which I will show you in a minute. But the next wax I got was Lemon Peel. This is, um, it's exactly what I was expecting. I like it. It's just a straight up lemon scent. Those of you who follow me or have watched me for a while, you'll know during the summer I burn a lot of lemon scents. So I'm getting these kind of for, you know, whenever it's summertime or anything like that. I always love having a good lemon fragrance. I can do follow-up reviews on these if you guys are super interested. If not, in the summertime, I'll probably, you know, follow up with these and do like an Instagram post. Yeah, this is just a, it's fresh. It's just like a fresh lemon. It's not a bright, zesty lemon. It's lemon peel, so it's more so like the rind of the lemon. It's a flat scent. It's not, you know sweet sea or anything like that. A very flat lemon type fragrance. I think this would be like a good kitchen lemon. This actually would probably be a really good scent when you're cooking or anything like that. Let me read you the notes for lemon peel. So the notes per Goose Creek's website for lemon peel include sparkling lemon, lemon peel, mid notes of lime and orange, base notes of lemongrass and sandalwood. Despite loving lemon fragrances, I do not like lemongrass at all. Um, don't let that scent note deter you if you're kind of reading online and looking at the notes on there. Um, doesn't smell like lemongrass to me. This is a scent that I can see where people 
some people love lemon scents and sometimes people just are like, uh, it smells like pledge. It smells like cleaning product. I don't like it. This is one of those lemon scents where I can legitimately see someone saying, "Ugh, it smells like pledge. So, and I don't mind the smell of pledge. I, I've said this before in videos when I've talked about lemon scents. I don't think it smells bad, but I can see where this flat type of a lemon scent would remind someone of a cleaning product. Would I go out and buy the candle of this one? Probably not. I would definitely rather do the old time lemonade, the first one I showed you. But this is a nice scent. I'll use it for scent layering and, um, you know, I'll do an Instagram follow up on the strength. So diving into my lemon candle and then we'll dive into the florals. So Goose Creek has, at least to my knowledge, it looks like on their website, they had three different types of lemon fragrances. The two I showed you and then the one that I wound up choosing. This is a gourmand scent and I was super excited. I thought it was going to be similar to maybe like pink lemonade pound cake minus the raspberry aspect or the fruit aspect. But I mean, how delicious does this sound to you guys? Lemon vanilla cake batter. I mean, the picture looks great. It looked just like an amazing, yummy, decadent, decadent like lemon fragrance. I was so excited about it. They were on sale for 12 bucks at the time and now they're doing the seven, $8 promo. But so it wasn't crazy expensive. Again, I can't go back to the store to return this. Just opening the lid, you guys. When I got this in, I was, this is the one I really wanted to try. Just opening the lid. It, it, I almost get like a vinegar scent. This is, it's really odd. And I don't think it's because I, I don't think I got a bad batch. I think it just simply has so weird. And I, I'm just beside myself with this candle. Um, let me read you the notes and then I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are when I actually burned this last night. So the notes for lemon vanilla cake batter are top notes of warm lemon filling and cake batter, mid notes of vanilla bean and warm butter and a base note of light blueberry. So maybe that blueberry like rind um, or like the lemon, it's almost like a lemon juice or something in there it has like this vinegar type scent and that could be the blueberry. Whatever it is, it's mixed with just like a batter type scent. It's not appealing, at least to me. Um, if you're a gourmand lover, I, I don't think this is probably what you're going to be expecting. I put this in the can, or I put this in the candle. I put this in the kitchen last night, turned off all my other fragrances. I typically don't burn candles in the kitchen. I isolated it from every other fragrance, let it go in the kitchen for like four hours, was walking in and out trying to, you know, see if maybe when it was burning, it would smell a little different. It threw, I mean, it had a strong throw, you guys. One to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. It was like at a solid seven. I mean, I could smell it wafting down the hallway and everything. It just has a very much so, they nailed the cake batter aspect. It just smells like a doughy, flowery, maybe not doughy, like a flowery cake batter with lemon zest, like like lemon juice more so, lemon juice, like unsweetened lemon juice and like vinegar, which is probably the blueberry rind. I don't know, you guys. I um, If this sounds appealing to you and you're still interested in trying it, please try the wax tarts first. I'm just not a fan of this. And there's not many candles that I don't like. And it performed well. It, it threw quick. It, it had a nice wax pool. Beautiful candle. A lot of times if there's a scent that I'm not crazy about, I can like layer it in with other fragrances. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to layer this in with like Lemoncello or any other scents in the summertime. I may give it another try, but um, yeah, no go for me. So that is the uh, Lemon Vanilla Cake Batter. Pretty picture. Just the scent was just very off-putting to me. And there's not many scents, you guys, that I that I just don't like. It's okay. <clears throat> Anyways, let's dive into the ones. I have two really good wins other than the lemon ones. The two really good wins that I wish I would have gotten candles of, but I went for um, wax tart versions instead, just because I have so many other forms of these, but their French lavender, you guys, is beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful. You can see it's been well loved this past week. I only have two wax chunks left. This is a traditional herbaceous, strong, almost aromatherapy-esque in your face lavender fragrance. Sometimes lavender can be super intense and, and strong. That is this. Let me read you the notes from Goose Creek's website for their French lavender. So top notes of fresh French lavender, mid notes of bergamot and a base of light woods. I can absolutely get that. It's a standard, standard in a good way, French lavender scent, super strong. Of all the, or I guess of the two melts and all the fragrances I've burned thus far from Goose Creek, the French lavenders, very strong, very, very strong. So would I purchase this one again? Yes, absolutely. I would love to try the candle. So the next one I got was their Lavender Vanilla. And oddly enough, this one's actually sold out online now. So this one must be quite popular. It's a beautiful Lavender Vanilla fragrance. It is a traditional Lavender Vanilla fragrance in the sense that it's a powdery kind of Lavender Vanilla. Bath & Body Works used to have their Lavender Vanilla Aromatherapy Body Care. Sometimes people would say that's a little too powdery. If you like powdery Lavender Vanilla, this smells very similar to Bath & Body Works Lavender Vanilla in the sense that it has that powder kind of aspect to it. So top notes are fresh lavender, violet, and rose. I don't get rose. I think violets are a really light smelling flower anyway, so I, I don't get any of those notes. Mid notes of red fruits and jasmine. I really don't get much of that either. Base notes of amber, cedar wood, and warm vanilla. Yeah, absolutely. I can get the a little bit of a cedar, a little bit, just like a warm note. Um, vanilla, absolutely. Beautiful scent. Not as strong as the French lavender. This one, though, I was pleasantly surprised. It still had a really decent throw. I mean, it's, you know, in a melt, it's a melt cup, so it's going to be or, um, a wax melt, rather. Sorry, I'm readjusting my legs falling asleep here. Um, decently strong. I would love to try the candle in this one as well. And as you can see, I only have, what do I have? Three cubes, three little chunks left. So that is lavender vanilla. Now, the last candle that I got, I got in anticipation of burning my florals this spring. And it's really, really pretty. I've been way into, I'm always into lavender. I love lavender. And they're coming out with so many companies are coming out with so many beautiful rose fragrances lately. Obviously, Bath & Body Works brought back Pink Petal Tea Cake. They came out with Rose Water and Ivy last season, or they brought it back um, last season and they brought it back again. Yankee has like four different types of rose scents going. So I saw that Goose Creek had this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pure red rose. How gorgeous is that? So I wanted to try it. Um, I've burned it three times now. So the first time I got it, I, I burned it in the bedroom for about three and a half, four hours. It, it pulled out no issues or anything like that. It's The scent is beautiful. It's a very um, light. It's not intense like uh, Yankee Candles, Fresh Cut Roses is like an intense green, super rosy scent. It's also not... Um, like a powdery rose. It's just a fresh, pure rose with a little more toned down on the greenery note, but it's not a powdery rose. Let me read you the notes of pure red rose. So the top notes are beautiful red roses, mid notes of green leaves and light apple. I don't get like a light apple note by any means. I do get the green leaves and a base note of soft powder. This is, and I think Tina Delicious had made mention to this when he was reviewing think maybe he was reviewing some sort of diptyque rose re candle review. No, Homeworks. Maybe it was Homeworks. And he said how, you know, some roses are made to just like be beautifully, you know, aesthetic wise, and they don't have much of a scent. Um, whereas, you know, other roses are obviously wild, natural roses are going to have a full on fragrance. This is one of those candles where it's a lighter rose scent. It's more of a watery rose. Um, it's, it's not a full on in your face rose. So this is like if you go to the store and you have a bouquet of red roses in your hand and you get a little bit of the stem, almost like a little bit of a wateriness to it and the petals are not overly fragrant, but you can still smell them. That's what this smells like. Um, throw wise, it, it can get lost. 
It wasn't a room filling fragrance by any means. If you try to do this in like a living room or an open room or anything like that, it, it might get lost. Would I repurchase this again? Probably not, probably not even in the wax melts. I'll have to use this and scent layer it with other fragrances. I will burn it, I, I'm not upset about it, but it's definitely not gonna fill the room by any means. If I wanted this to try to fill a room, it'd have to be like in a bathroom or you know, maybe in the bedroom it was kind of throwing, but it's not gonna be able to fill an open room or anything like that if that's what you're looking for. If you want a very light, light fragrance, maybe something wafting through, this might work for you. Um, beautiful, beautiful scent, just not strong enough for me. Um, you know, and I, I just don't think I'm going to get the wax melts of it. I like it. I just don't think it's strong enough. So if your thing is kind of a mid fragrance, you might want to give it a try, but definitely not a repurchase for me. So you guys, that is it for me. I was super excited to share these with you. I really wanted to open them on camera and kind of like do a first sniff impressions with you guys. But, um, you know, I didn't have time to sit down and film and I really, really wanted to try them out. So um, that's okay. Kind of killed two birds in one stone. I'd rather be able to review them for you as I'm talking about them than having to go back and refilm again anyway. So, but you guys comment down below. If you guys have used Goose Creek or anything like that, comment down below. I know there just aren't that many videos on YouTube. I know there's some people out there who do review Goose Creek quite a bit. Um, I've just, you know, they're not as popular, I guess, is say like a Bath and Body Works or a Yankee review. There's just not that many reviews out there. So for those of you who have burned Goose Creek, comment down below. Let me know what ones are your favorites. Let me know which ones to avoid because I will be purchasing from Goose Creek again. It's just a matter of finding a fragrance that I'm interested in. So that's it for me today, you guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.